Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming in with another episode of New Vegas. Alright, when we left off, I had uh, made our way through the uh, display section of this particular facility in Repcon offices, and uh, we're gonna, now going to move on to the second floor, now that we have the ability to, more or less, and we're going to see if we can get our facial data uploaded before problems arise which that looks promising Let's see uh fairly easy because it's only four letter words okay um let's let's go to came nope okay how about camp there we go came to camp that's a weird phrase okay Hey, that's good. Add user facial data to database. Fuck yeah. Now I don't have to deal with too much shenanigans. Carl Rook, Vice President from Sarah Wang. Hmm. Carl, I've made some progress decrypting the packets. From what I can tell, someone is sending progress messages to a secure off-site server somewhere. Were I to venture a guess, I would say that the messages are going to Poseidon, but I don't have enough proof to make a serious claim. All right. Mr. Rook, for the last couple of weeks, I've seen a higher than usual rate of encrypted messages leaving the facility here. These messages use an unusual encryption protocol that I haven't seen before. I'm fairly certain that the method isn't a de Department of Defense, rather, I had to retranslate that in my head, approved method. I fear that these message may messages uh, may be a sign of someone sending insider information. That would really be bad. Well, I mean, for them. <laughs> okay, not so much whoever is getting that info from Carl Rook Mrs. Wang please continue your investigation into the messages and keep me appraised on any progress you make in the meantime please keep this information private I will make sure the appropriate parties are informed and please call me Carl alrighty trying to be nicey nice okay IT services from Carl Rook Hello, I will need someone to come over as soon as possible and clear the old vice president's data off of this terminal, as well as reformat it with my personal information. Thank you. Carl Rook. Hmm. Odd. Hey, another Nikola Tesla. It's the second one I found. How about that? Kaboom. I guess this must have been the IT service desk. Hmm. I, I need to double check the number in which those were sent. Um. Yeah. So it's weird that they went to IT to all seriousness over in that one. A lot. Okay. Well, now that I can walk around up here with relative impunity, as well. Valid facial pattern detected. Oh, thank you for letting me know that. I totally knew you were going to be on my side. Totally. <laughs> that how was it? Okay, someone was talking. Um, I want to check what's in these boxes. Free warm money and wonder glue, always a good combo. Burning clipboard, I can use that. Um, not so much anything in that. Open the door. Ooh, a lunchbox. That means more in Fallout 4 than it does here, honestly. Ooh, don't need the Wonder Glue anymore. I think I'm pretty stocked on Wonder Glue for now. But I might as well check. Are you following me? Yeah, you keep walking. Or floating whatever the fuck you do all right check in here finance clipboard i can use that i can always use these things um yeah i don't think there's anything else in here hi there how may i serve you master ah uh, you could be quiet that'd be nice all right oh there's a bathroom in here didn't notice oh oh Oh, that's not good. 
Someone died in here. That's really not good. Someone died in the bathroom. That's like the worst place to die. It's like, imagine you had to, you know, had to watch the news reports because you're a ghost now. And you had to... Don't let me keep you. Okay, well, you had to watch the news reports of them trying to figure out how you died on the fucking toilet. Because there's nothing else that really suggests how you ended up there in the first place. Other than just what's, you know, in the toilet at the time of your death. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't even want to think about that. That's getting a little weird, even for my tastes. Ooh. Number of rounds. Number of rounds in that one. Oh, well, uh, you died too. Yeesh. Valid facial pattern detected. Thank you for telling me that again. Thank you. Jesus. It's like they come in just to freak the fuck out of me. That's probably what they're doing on purpose. They're doing it just to... Ugh. Fuck with my head. Just easy to do. Especially when I'm in a creepy place like this. Nothing in there. Okay. Well, that was bull honky. What's in this fridge? Ooh. Whiskey. Can't turn that down. Why would I ever turn that down? Okay, now both of you are in my way. Get out. Uh. Oh. That's a hard locked door. This is an average locked door. I could probably get into this. Probably. There we go. Good shit. Oh, uh, yeah? Don't let me keep you? Well, you're kind of doing that already. Alright. Um, Mintats. Always a good idea. Get into this terminal. Physics! Oh, of course not. Why would anyone put physics as their fucking password? What are we in? Harvard? Okay. Trading. No, but we're getting close. Uh, let's try stating. Fuck. Well, there's only so many I can try, so... Maybe. There we go. Got an allowance replenished. So we tried trading, we tried physics, we tried stating. How about running? Hey! Perfect. It was a process of elimination. Because it was at that point. Oh, hey, the Q35. That was uh, the thing we just picked up. The Quantum Plasma Modulation Matter Injection Rifle. Wow, that is a fucking mouthful. Version 32, status failure. Note, while the version 2 didn't have the power yield of the version 31 or 30, we managed to increase the stabilization threshold by approximately 27.35%. This is promising, however, we still have yet to come up with a solution for the matter inversion issues. Version 33, failure. Lab destroyed, data lost, oh geez. That's real bad. You probably, uh, should have probably stopped at that point. Failure, Thir version 34. Interesting, I'm not sure where we got this data from. It's a completely different direction from what we've been working on. We managed to cycle the matter inversion using a polarized quantum spin. I think that we solved the issue with the compensation field. I have high hopes for the next weapon. And it was a success. That data we received from Zhuan, from Zhuan, I'm not entirely sure, did the trick. We managed to get a stable build model. Yuan? Uh, now that I think about it, it's probably Yuan. I don't think this weapon is ready for mass production yet, but it should show that we have a working prototype. Yeah, I can talk there for a second. We should be able to get these issues resolved in a matter, uh, matter of weeks in a later build. That's what I was trying to say, but that's not what it's read as. I don't fucking know where I got matter of weeks. Ah, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> That's probably it. As you requested, here are the improvements when compared to a standard plasma rifle. Prototype materials not suited for extended field use, which means the durability of the weapon is fairly low, so we'll have to keep that in mind. Although we're just going to sell the bitch anyway. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just keep it. On average, the Q35 has a higher refire rate, but the time between shots is more consistent. Fair. Increase in active bolt charge time, accurate at longer ranges. That's fairly useful. Plasma charge has a 30% increase in energy. That means more damage. Encrypted message. 
to bleh from bleh. <laughs> I've managed to get the password to Isley's computer. I'll forward it to you with the release notes to the Q35. The prototype is going to be stopping here on its way to the Department of Defense. You should be able to intercept it on the road. Well, I mean, it ended up in shipping. So, I mean, it's there. And inter-office correspondence. Julia Masters from Leonard Steeple. That's a hell of a name. Oh, this is the vice president. Okay. I'm sure you have heard by now about Robco's intentions to buy out our company. In the past, you and I have been of like mind when it comes to the moral and financial future of this company. When Poseidon showed interest those years ago, you helped me rally the board in order to keep Repcon autonomous. I'd like your help again with Robco. Pierce claims that Robco is buying shares in the company to force a hostile takeover if we won't sell willingly. I don't believe that this will... Uh, I don't believe that they will be able to pull together enough shares without some approval from the board. I think that you and I will be able to sway enough... Bleh, will be able to sway enough votes to keep the company safe. I hope you will stand with me for this. Leonard. Alrighty. And Julia, the CFO, talking to Leonard... I'd stand with you, Leah. Give me a few days to try and gather some support from my allies on the board. I've run the numbers, and I'm pretty sure you are right. We can fight this. And the next one. To Piers Isley, General Manager from Julia Masters CFO. You were right. Leo sent me a message last night. I've made the call to the board. I think with the numbers we are looking at pocketing from the Robco deal, we will have no trouble getting the board to vote no confidence on him. Wow. Holy shit. She just sold him out for all the money in the deal. Oh my god. That's fucked up. And I think that was why the tech services person got called to clear out the vice president's desk. Is that what I'm thinking? That's what it was. I didn't... It didn't really process in my brain that that's what I read, but I think that's what I read. <laughs> Maybe. I need to find the fucking thing again. Just being difficult, like always. Every time I try to look for things. Every time. Okay, it was in the broken bathrooms. There we go. Found it! Okay, bottom one. Whoops. I skipped through it a little too quickly. Carl Rook is the new vice president. Oh. I see. So this was after the shenanigans with Leo. And Carl Rook took the place instead. I see. I see what you're putting down. I see what you're getting in front of me. Oh boy. Well, you can get out of my way. That'd be nice. Oh, what the fuck is this? This is a big old fucking key card. Second floor security card. Hey! That would be nice to have. You are in my way to grab this thing, robot. Get out of here. There's always got to be more robots. Be a pain in my ass. Employment! Yeah, of course not. <laughs> this is super corporate America we're talking about here. Uh, department. Nothing matches for that, so we'll just skip it. Endorphins? No, of course not. Equivalent. No. Balls. Okay. What are we? Oh, allowance replenish. And dud remove. And it was the one I already knew. Fuck. Um. Worshippers? Hey! I got hacked the Mojave! I didn't know I, already, I hadn't had that. <laughs> I didn't know I didn't have that one yet. That's something. Hey, I got it, though fucking got it. Print executive security badge. Ooh. That is very good. Thank you. Third floor security card. Now I don't even need to bother with getting my face on there. Okay. All Repcon staff from Pierce Isley, general manager. I am sad to inform you that after many years of loyal service, Leonard Steeple has stepped down from his position at Repcon. We wish him the best of luck in all of his future endeavors. For the time being, Julia Masters will be overseeing Leonard's department. Department heads will be meeting with her later today. Thank you for all your time. 
Thank you all for your time, rather. Sincerely, Piers Isley, General Manager, Repcon. Yep. That was the shenanigans that we could... Hello. Have a wonderful day here at Repcon. Remember, security is job one. Thank you. I think... I think that was because I printed out the executive thing. It's gotta be. I would assume it is. But now we can move up to the third floor with relative impunity, so let's do so. And the top floor. Smancy. I was trying to drink my soda and it loaded a lot faster than I thought it would. Okay. Well, this is definitely a fancy smancy place because it has fucking these things right when you step out the door. Hi there. And, yep, this is high position corporate America, all right. Fucking first thing I see on the desk, fucking whiskey. Abs of fucking lootly. There we go. Grab a scotch, too. Why not? Why not grab a scotch? I'm already in the fucking high CEO offices. Might as well grab the scotch, too. Why wouldn't I? Alright, let's see. Let's see if there's... Third floor access is for executives only. Please identify. Oh. Ice cream. Thank you, sir. Have a nice day. That worked. That worked. Oh. I see. The wall caved on him when he was walking through. That sucks, man. That sucks for you, man. I am sorry. Oops, I am now overburdened. There's this guy's stuff. There's the mission holotape. I guess they were trying to, uh... Get this place's tech, too. And, uh, failed. Pretty hard. Eddie! I need to talk to you about carrying my shit. <laughs> Mainly this. Even though I know you... What? Oh. You're not even able to wear armor, period! What are you talking about? I can't even let you carry this? Fucking hell. Alright, um... Give you a bunch of weapons until I even out the weight. Fucking hell. Have to make it difficult, why don't you? You're not even able to wear armor. What are you talking about? Fucking you're not able to wear faction armor. Fucking shit, bird. I'll give you this. And this. And it's not even enough yet. God damn it. Oh, uh, man. Take all that. There you go. Even though you're not able to use it. Okay. Let's continue on. This looks like... Well, this was probably not intended in the initial floor plans, but... It works. Also, why would you have so many bathrooms in the executive offices? There's like... I, I bet there's not even this many employees up in the fucking executive offices. I just wanted to check. Okay. And locked very hard. Okay. Fair. Fair enough. Disappearing. No. Not even close. Infiltration. That's kind of what I'm doing, but again, not even close. Ah, oh, jeez. I can't even do fucking... I can't even do process of elimination. Jesus. Uh, infiltration civilization. Uh, no. I'll stay right here. Had the song stuck in my head. I had to get it out. All right. Um, dud removed. Thank you for absolutely fuck all. Oh hey, I'll take that. Sure. Um, infiltration is as close as I got. Civilization didn't work. Um, 
Jesus Christ. What could it possibly be? Loudspeakers? No, fuck no. Why would I think that? Civilization Resurrection? No. Laboratories? No. I ain't gonna try this. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, this is a bug, I'm pretty sure, that the security reset takes this long. Okay. Purification? Nope. Fuck me. Infiltration? Nope. Fuck me. Dud removed. Uh, dud removed. It's good that I'm getting duds removed, but I want more fucking chances, damn it. That's what I'm here for. That's what I need. Thank you, but not all I wanted. Fucking. Give me more chances, you stupid piece of junky balls. Gah. All right. Maybe broadcasting? No. It wasn't worth the risk. It was not worth the risk. Although it doesn't seem to be changing the passwords all that much. It's kind of set in a certain way. So, anticipating is close. Anticipating is very close. I'm willing to bet the ING is necessary. So, recuperating. Hey! hey, 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 hey. Fuck yeah. Ah, disable robots. <laughs> okay. Let's check all of these, huh? To Leonard Steeple, Vice President from Piers Isley, General Manager. Leo, it is good to have you back in the office. I hope Lisa is feeling better as well. That was a nasty bug going around. Hopefully the kids didn't catch it. <laughs> Either way, it is good to have you back in the office. While you were out of the office, I met with some executives at Robco. They are very interested in the potential that our organization has been showing and are making an excellent offer to buy out. I'll have one of my assistants run over with the draft they gave me. Take a look at it and let me know what you think. Okay, bye-bye. Uh, I had to add the smarmy piece of shit CEO thing. I had to. It, it's it's kind of necessary. From Leonard Steeple. I have no interest in selling my portion of the company to Robco. We went over this with Poseidon. These companies deal in defense contracts. That isn't what we're, we're about. That isn't what we are about. That's what I meant to say. And it isn't something that I'm willing to support. I'm sending back the package. I'm sure you have a fairly solid idea where I think you can put it. <laughs> wow. Wow, the balls on Leonard, man. <laughs> Leo, I've heard more from my contacts over at Robco, and it sounds like they're already started buying, like they've already started buying some of the our public shares. <laughs> I can't fucking read the day, I swear. With just a little bit of support from our stockholders and board members, it is not inconceivable but th that this amicable relationship could turn very hostile. It is in everyone's best interest if we take this deal while it is still sweet. I don't think that it'll stay this way for long. And Wan Duong, Senior Staff Engineer from Carl Rook. The new Vice President, I assume. Yeah, that yeah, that's several numbers past. Okay. Wan, one of my contacts at Poseidon Energy found the specs for the cancelled Smele. Semele? I think that's how you're supposed to say it. Plasma rifle. I'm sending them over to your team. For what I can tell, they've managed to resolve the matter conversion issue you've been having with the Heisenberg compensation field. Combined with the data from the sabotage launch... Sabotage? What? I think you... <laughs> I think you should have everything you need to complete the Q35. Colonel Moretti is expecting results with this project. I don't need to tell you what a favorable evaluation from his desk would do for all of our stock portfolios. Yeah, about that. And then everyone died from, well, really big fucking nukes because fuck you. I guess. My nose is starting to get stuffed up. It's making it hard to talk. And I still can't use this fucking elevator. Are you kidding me? Okay. All right. Well, then. 
been through here. No real cool things here except this clipboard. I can use this. All right. And nothing. All right. Well, I think I've searched through everything I can search through up here. Done everything I can do. And yeah. Now I think it's time to get the fuck out of here. And sell off some of this stuff, huh? Probably would be a good idea. Especially helps when all the robots are gone, so I don't need to worry about them. Alrighty. I think I'll just end the episode here for right now while I'm getting the fuck out of here. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and fucking around in Robco offices and finally finishing up that little quest for them, uh, the Brotherhood. And, uh, shut down all the robots and that's pretty much all my brain can remember when it comes to doing cool stuff. <laughs> Other than figuring out there was a massive conspiracy at Robco and Repcon for you. Wow, that fucking outro lasted way longer than I expected. <laughs> I just kept going and going and going like a fucking Energizer Bunny. Jesus Christ. I'm a tiger. That doesn't make sense.